Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect and access your router or switch using the console connection. So in this diagram we have a, um, a cloud router switch and it has a console port. The console port looks like a regular RJ45 port however it's just a serial connector or serial connection and uh, you need to use a, a serial to USB cable to connect to this port unless, unless you're computer as a um, serial port then you could use that but if your device only has USB then you need a, a serial to USB connector so you need a connection um, a cable like this alright so next I'm going to show you how to um, install software to connect to your router so we're going to head over to the PC and we're going to download a program named Putty it's a terminal emulator so we're just going to download putty and all you need to do is choose the version um, the installation version that suits your OS so I'm just going to download the 64 bit just going to run it And the installation is simple, just next, next, install, and then finish. Alright, so we're going to launch the, the application now, which is Putty. Before you start doing any configuration, ensure that your serial cable is properly installed. What I mean is by going into your computer and go to properties and uh, go to device manager you should see uh, in ports com port you should see a USB serial port you should see this if you're not seeing this that means that your your serial cable is not properly configured so you should be seeing a USB serial port um, as part of one of the devices in your device manager so the serial port is COM3 and uh, that is part of the configuration that we need to set up um, the client which is putty to go to serial and we're going to change the port which is COM3 and the speed which is the baud rate the speed the recommended speed to connect um, to microtech device uh, is 115,200 8 bit 8 data bit 1 stop bit and for flow control none then go to terminal uh, session and uh, select serial and you see where it comes up with those settings if you press enter it should connect to the switch or the router so now it's asking for the username so I'm going to log in putting in the password and now I am logged in to the switch and the same goes if you have a router and you can now manage your your device from here So let me see so all all the commands that that are usually available when you open a console while using winbox you will have access to this the good thing about this is that if you lose connectivity to your switch or your router you can easily get access to it using the console connection so this is how you would connect to your router using the console connection so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching